Guys, Caspa continues to have no limits. It just continues to keep on smashing all-time high after all-time high after all-time high. The FOMO drive is in. Let's check it out. Hey, guys, what's going on? And welcome to the Rabbit Mining YouTube channel. All right, guys, so here we are. Let's take a look at this chart right quick. And I'm not a chart reader. I don't know how this works, but it looks like Caspa is raising the pinky finger in the T. That's probably not even a thing, but to me it is. As you can see, this is a pinky finger. Here's the knuckle, and this is kind of going up and down. It's kind of twitching out here because it wants to go higher. It's just not doing it yet, which, well, technically it already did a little bit here at 18.3 cents, but it wants to break beyond this point right here could we see a dollar in 24 hours guys i'm just joking i'm not being an idiot like a lot of the people you see out there but regardless you know there's a lot of hype happening around caspa another interesting thing is we're not really seeing the network hash rate go up this is mostly due to the fact that a lot of these miners have been sold out and you know they're waiting for another stock it seems like every 30 days we'll see a huge hash rate increase another 30 days it'll stall out because everybody bought them all out and then we'll see another increase again we did see peaks you know a couple weeks ago about 180 185 petahash maybe 190 you know at the top end but it dropped down to about 160 some here and it's been pretty stalled out here for the past two or three weeks guys so you know we're not seeing hash rate increase and i know the fomo is strong the profitability on these asic miners are absolutely insane speaking of asic miners head on over to crypto miner bros for all your asic needs they have every asic available on the market it to date now, as we can see cast ones are sold out some of the prices may look higher than they should be but this is due to the fact that shipping is included right to your door so all the extra fees that usually get tacked on in your cart are already here so you don't have to worry about anything extra happening here and i do feel the ks0 pro is more expensive than it should be but everything else does look like it's at decent price levels but they do have uh, the ks3 from bitmain it does look like the ks3 from ice river and the ks0 pro are all available as we can see though the majority of these miners though are sold out as everyone is waiting for some stock and code rabid will grant you fifty dollars off each individual item and it does stack every time you keep adding a new miner so if you want to buy every single miner on the store you'll get a discount on every single miner at the store so head on over to crypto miner bros today and check them out so let's kind of have a look at the current mining profitability right now at about 163 petahash. We are hanging out in February. I have all the block reward reductions all the way to the end of the year, and I will update it as we move into next year and so on. But 200 gigahash for a KS0 Pro is about 13.86 coins a day. That is $2.49. That's not bad for a miner that only uses 100 watts of power. You're not going to go bankrupt running something like this now let's take a look at something like the ks02 we're going to take a look at 2002 uh, terahash here i guess and that is 24 dollars and 96 cents at 1200 watts you know the profitability on these asics are insane now the biggest bad boy asic of them all right now currently is the ib link which is more efficient than the wind miner this is 10.5 terahash what is this monster doing for caspa so let's just go to 10 here also got to put a five in here 10.5 and i don't know can't confirm or deny there are rumors that'll probably do even better but i'm not sure but 10.5 is 131 dollars per 24 hours at 18 cent caspa we're slightly higher than that now what if caspa goes to a dollar if caspa ends up at a dollar that is technically $728 a day. This thing has an ROI of less than 20 days, which is completely unheard of insane. Obviously, when the Bitmain KS3 first emerged, that thing was making over $3,000 a day, and that's insane. But that's because it was the first major miner to hit Caspa after Ice River's initial KS zeros and stuff. But, you know, when these ASICs first emerged, yes, the profitability was huge, but, you know, the rewards have been dropping significantly ever since the hash rate has been picking up. But it's stalled out for a while right now, and we're still seeing crazy high profitability numbers. Caspa has remained the top coin to mine for any miner in the market right now for the past six, seven months or something. So pretty much ever since they first released, which is pretty unheard of to say. You know, we're always saying it's the next KDA. It's the next KDA. This thing has remained 
the top coin. And who knows what's going to happen when this bull run hits. Casper has major potential for major breakouts. Let's just take a look at the past year on Casper. And technically, you know, it has not done anything except go up. You know, eventually, you know, it is going to stall out and something's going to happen. Then we'll lead into the next bear market, yada, yada, yada. We're not talking about a bear market yet, even though I just did do the fact that we're just finally coming in to this bull market. We're right on the tail end of this bear market and things are about to go crazy. These minor prices, guys, are going to explode to the moon. Like we're going to be spending so much money on hardware. It's going to be insane here pretty soon. So yeah, it's crazy though. But what do you guys think Casper could potentially hit? I really feel a safe bet on the high, maybe around 75 cents to a dollar. But there's a lot of people that do say, you know what, Casper could see $5. Casper could see $10. In theory, that would be putting in like the second top coin i really think it's way too early for it to hit those type of levels i do think 75 cents to a dollar is a safe bet and at a dollar all your mining rewards you're getting right now are completely is that's a, unbelievable uh, you know a massive amount is if you're looking long term into the future on what this price could hit from right now your mining yields are super huge you know obviously they're not as big as they were when the a6 first came out but they're still massive here, and they can't deny the fact that this is the most profitable coin to mine with any mining hardware. So, yeah, Casper, guys. Casper's going to the moon. Casper's looking awesome. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on Casper down in the comments section. I'll see you on the next one. Rabbit out.